What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke. Yeah. Diggity. Yeah. Dog. What up? <laughs> I got some trivia for you. What you got? Ooh, what serial killer murdered and mutilated prostitutes in London in 1888? Jack the Ripper. Oh, correct. Um, Some people said it was also H.H. H. Holmes on vacation. I've heard of that. Let's see if you get this right. Have you ever heard of the eyeball killer? The eyeball killer? No. I don't okay. think so. All right, who is known as Dr. Death? Dr. Death. Uh, Starts with an H. H.H. H. Holmes? No. <laughs> Uh, but he was a doctor, though. Was it? Is it's not his real name, like Henry Mudgett or whatever his name was? It's Harold Shit. Oh, yeah. You're right. You want one more? Yeah. All right. What occupation? Uh, do you know who Beverly Allett is? Mm, I know the name. I'm not sure. I know the whole story. All right. Hold on. Let me give you one. Oh, who was the world's youngest serial killer? Ooh. Was it not uh, Lizzie Borden? No, some. Guy or girl named Amar Am Amar Amardep Sada? Uh, huh. I'm gonna have to look into that I'm one. I'm gonna have to check these out. I know uh, Lizzie Borden was, I don't know, probably in her teens. Dang, I wonder how this person must have been like. Well, then again, the you know they say the criteria to be a serial killer is two. Yeah. Well, I mean, she only killed her whole family. <laughs> she owned well, like it's just something <laughs> normal to do. She that's all she did. No, it's yeah. fine. Oh, man, that made my skin crawl a little bit. Yeah. It was a little creepy there. So. All right, continuing on down the seven days of Halloween. Smokey, mm -hmm. um, who uh, who wrote the the uh, the Raven? Is that? The Raven? Or is it is that the name of the poem? Yeah. Okay, who wrote that? Uh, Edgar Allan Poe. All right, so um, uh, when you there's a boxing match, it's this person blank this person. Versus. All right. Who wrote it? Stephen King. Put it together. Oh, uh, Edgar Allan Poe versus Stephen King. You got it, my friend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> guys, before we get started, please do us a bit of a favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. Comes directly from you. Right down in the comment section. And today... So this is the epic rap battles that we're doing here. Epic rap battles yeah. of history. And this actually came from a previous Spiral Out Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. They said, you know, Durham, when you guys are in the midst of the seven days of Halloween, we should check out Edgar Allan Poe versus yes. Stephen King. Absolutely. First of all, in a real fight, who wins? Because we, whenever we do epic rap battles, we always got to say, in a real fight, who wins? Oh, man. That's tough because I don't think either one of them were big in stature. That's on like maybe call them bantam weights, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Edgar Allan Poe was an alcoholic. Let's say in their, at their thirties, at both of them are thirty years old. Who wins? Mm. I may have to go with Stephen King on that one. I'm a ride with my dog Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. yeah. Trash talkers, y'all let us know who wins in a fight: Edgar Allan Poe or Stephen King? Yeah. But the question here here's something that's interesting. You know, every, guys, I'm sure you're familiar with epic rap battles of history because mm -hmm. they literally take their lifestyle and then they, you know, like put it up against each other. Yeah. Now, just before we watch this, just uh, I don't know if because Edgar Allan Poe was he was he English? Like, wasn't he from London? No, he lived in Baltimore. Well, he actually traveled in uh, a few states, but he died in Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah. That's why it's called Baltimore Ravens. Mm -hmm. But I think Stephen King's going to win this simply because, dude, Stephen King's a freaking lit. I mean, we can, we can oh, name absolutely. movies forever. Yeah. But you, can you name me more than two Edgar Allan Poe uh, poems? The Telltale Heart. I know that one. Um, Obviously The Raven. Yeah, The Raven. Uh, what was it? Annabelle, I believe. Oh, so, isn't it Annabelle? But you see where I'm going here, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, I'd have to go back through his catalog now. Oh, man, I've always liked Edgar Allan Poe, dude. And mm -hmm. and one, me and Smokey's, one of our favorite wrestlers growing up was the Raven. Or was Raven. Oh, yeah. You know what he Absolutely. Else, you know what he always used to say? Quote the Raven nevermore. Smoke dog! What up? Let's do it! Let's do it! Epic Rock Battles of History! <laughs> <laughs> 
Steven Kirk. Oh, that looks just like awesome. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Once upon a midnight dreary As I spit this weak and weary I will choke this joker with a trochee Till his cheeks are teary ah! But y'all don't hear me, all should fear me Up a river be better, you'll never be near me Your books are as eerie as Beverly Cleary Ooh. You're a full Bram Stoker So scram, the show's over Your flow so, so, pose, poems, pone, poser I wrote him locked in a cave While I sobbed in a rage The telltale heart beats soft in his grave Well this jerk just beats off on a page okay, so You got you that oh. Oh. Go back to Hot Top again, shop for a time There's a melancholy alcoholic laughing stock In the king's head, I watch the castle rise Howdy little poet with an opiate affliction I'm a workaholic with a fiction, addiction yeah, Making dedicated readers shivery and jittery Feel that rage and misery You better start running, man You're in deep poo -po. I'm a mad dog Thanks, shiny Cujo Tell me knock you down till you can't stand up You're a soft as Poe, the Kung Fu Panda Racks on racks cause I pen fat stacks of frightening writing Have you seen the pie? I can even take a break from my routine style Crank out a Shawshank or a green mime Bored! Silly blood curdle Hitting the pendulum Not even a Irving on your first cousin when she's 13 years old? Now that's disturbing. Even you pretended. Bruh. Yeah. Did you know about that? Yes. Yeah, things were Diff. more accepted in those days than they are now. Mm. Okay, let's finish this. Yeah. Style. Crank out a Shawshank or a green mime. Mask of the Red Death. Billy Blood Curd. Hitting the pendulum. Not even unnerving. Irving on your first cousin when she's 13 years old. Now that's disturbing. Even you pretend to do it, I've been really living through it. Misery and poverty and family woes. I see through you like pantyhose. Do a Chappelle with sips and cameos. Oh. Even if you're gripping on a weapon, then you better get a step in if you're messing with the whore lord. In a minute, maybe I'ma hit him, cut him into itty bitty bits, and I'ma stick him in the floorboard. Uh, speaking of bored, you are the worst. Dropped out of school, but you can't drop a burn. I could've spent that time better. In eight bars, I can write a whole bestseller. I'm so pro if it's sickly goblin won't be bothering me. I'm on a cover and spree, and I'll be smacking you with any of the big thick boss. My big dick bibliography. See, I'm the author with the blood and gore lore galore that'll horrify a reader to the core. Fame, money, talent, success, you'll always have less. I think there's no question here. I don't think there is, man. Oh. Alright, we said that there's no no question here. I don't think so. Man. Let's see if we're thinking the same thing. Who won that? Stephen King. What? What? Dude, Edgar Allan Poe killed that, <laughs> dude. dude. You really think Edgar Allan Poe won that? I think, I mean, yeah. other than the talking about his cousin. Yeah, he had some personal stuff that he dropped in there, which you couldn't really. I mean, like, Edgar Allan Poe was talking about his appearance on The Simpsons and whatever. Yeah, the, the, the second verse of Edgar Allan Poe's wasn't that good, but the first verse, he was killing it. It was hard. I, I give him that. I mean, like, I didn't like. Uh, I mean, both of them were spitting bars. I mean, their flow and cadence was amazing, but the uh, Stephen King, when he was like. Um, uh, a kung fu panda, mm. <laughs> yeah, a little, little corny, you know. Yeah, but think about this: they're all standing around in a big battle rap, like King of the Dot or something, and all the people are in the room listening. I don't he forget drops, smack. Don't forget yeah. smack. Yeah, well, he drops that thirteen-year-old line, and the oh. whole place explodes. Oh, yeah, you got, got it him. Boy. You got it, boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this uh. Again, it, with it being so spooky within the seven days of Halloween, it's you know we like we lightened it up a little bit early in the week. We, we checked out Family Guy, the, mm -hmm. which was absolutely hilarious. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked that out. Go check out our Family Guy Halloween clips. But with with us doing all these creepy and scary things things during the seven days of Halloween, man, we gotta lighten it up a little bit with. Absolute history. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Guys, let us know what's next by Epic Rep Battles of History. Leave it down in the comments and let us know who you think won this. Was it Edgar Allan Poe or was it Stephen King? And who is the king of horror? If it's not Stephen King and it's not Edgar Allan Poe, who is the king of horror? Let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, my name is Barry J. Hollywood. Six. Bye. I am Liberty Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another segment of Rappers React. If you guys want to see another artist that we covered, just click uh, right here. If you want to see the last video did, just click right over here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.